Day 51, a new week once again. Not much movement on the Euro Great British Pound. The US dollar Swiss franc, that did take a drop towards the stop loss. Fortunately, it has receded since then. Might be safe, but yeah, long, long way to that take profit. We'll be waiting. Still not there on these signals either. Sooner or later, there's got to be one that comes along that fits just right and gets us the win. Today is not that day though, so we keep on waiting. Back again at day number 52. Not much movement on the euro pound and not much movement on the US dollar Swiss franc hanging in there. A few potential trades going on. You can see here against the yen, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, very close. You can see support level back here. Back here, we'd be looking at resistance overbought right now. And same with the euro yen as well. Not a bad location for it. Overbought once more against the yen. You can see resistance level previously. But I do think we've got one better than this that we are going to go for. And that is the Great British Pound Japanese Yen. Same as the other two, overbought on the MFI, looking for a sell signal. And we can see this area has been used as support many, many times. All the way back here, you can see quite a few times price has gone through the regions. So we are going to get into a trade here. 0 0.1 standard lots, that'll be sub trade A. So let's trade it and sell off the market. Not much different for sub trade B, 0 0.07, in we go. Let's get the stop loss and take profit levels down. There it is. Looking pretty good. I do feel like this one could well be a winner. Day 54, we did miss day 53 back now though. And even though it wasn't great for the Euro Great British Pound or the US Dollar Swiss Franc, we did take profit on the Great British Pound Japanese Yen and very close to the second take profit level as well. You can see they're scooping up $130 from that winning trade and currently $150 on the open trade. Pretty nice there. And we do have an overbought signal on the euro US dollar. I think we're going to get into this one. A little bit risky as it's been a strong day, so there might be more momentum to come. But we're looking at this region where it's bounced off it previously as a support. And then a little resistance level here, back down. Not the strongest, but good enough. So in we go. And in we go again. There's the stop loss and take profit levels. As I say, it does feel a bit tight on the stop loss, only around about one and three quarter percent. That would have both stop losses wiped out. That does mean it's quite close to the take profit too. So everything to play for. Day number 55. Been a nice movement on the euro pound. Not much on the US dollar Swiss franc. But we did manage to take profit on our sub trade B for the Great British Pound Japanese Yen. Banked just shy of $190 there. So very good trade. Sub trade A and B both taking profit. Just shame we didn't get in on some of these other yen ones. You can see here the euro yen that came through as well. Resistance level back here, as well as a bit around here. And Aussie yen as well came up to this region and this region, bounced back down. And same on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. So it would have been very risky to get into all of these yen trades. But if you did, currently paying off very nicely for you. As that yen does get a bit stronger. No new signals for us tonight. So let's sum it up in the journal as we end the week. Our journal getting nicer by the weeks now. Took that big dip in the middle. We remember that. But now the comeback. Look at all this green down here. Like a lovely meadow. Now we could still go under if all of our open trades turned into losers. But we'd only be down just a bit. Even in those worst circumstances. Currently from the closed trades we are sitting just over 5% up on the account balance. Things are looking pretty good as we go into the final weeks of this strategy. Back on Monday.